In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace drum sounds in Reaper. So for a project in front of me here, and I want to replace the kick and snare. Let's see what it sounds like now. Let's just hear the drums. It sounds pretty good, but I want to make the drums sound more aggressive. And we could do that by changing the kick and snare sounds, or just add some samples on top of them and play them together blended. So let's take a look how to do that. First, we'll go to the kick and duplicate it. Right click, duplicate tracks. Let's make this one bigger. And let's mute this one. Let's zoom in so you see the transients better. And then we'll select the media item. Then we'll go up here to the edit window and choose dynamic split, which we could use to split our drum hits based on the transients into separate media items. We'll choose the split points at transients. We can leave these off. The action to perform is to split the selected items. And we'll leave the leading pad and trailing pad and fade pad off. Then we'll choose to set the transient sensitivity, which we can adjust our threshold. Make sure we choose display threshold in media items right over here. So when we adjust the threshold, we get a horizontal line showing us where we're going to split our items. So if we bring it up high, these items don't get split. But if we bring it low enough, each transient is going to split into a separate item. So now we'll choose split. And we can see each kick hit is a separate item. We could delete this one as we don't need it. Then we'll double click the track to select all the items on this track. Let's right click it, go to item settings, and turn off loop item source. So when we replace this with a sample, that sample won't loop. Then we'll open up the Media Explorer, go to View, Media Explorer, and let's search for some kick samples. I have some in a kick folder right here. Let's start with this one. And because we selected all the items on this track, we could right click this item and choose insert in selected media items and replace the media source with our sample. So now all those items are replaced with the drum sample before and after. So we can hear this with the track. And remember, the other kick is off. Let's hear the previous one and the new one. Let's try a different one. And because these items are still selected, we could reopen the Media Explorer and just try a different sample. Let's try this one instead. Right click, insert in selected media items, and replace the media source. And again, it swapped out the sample before and after. Let's hear that in the mix. I think I like that sample. Let's augment it or add another sample on top to make it sound more aggressive 
Umo Live. Make the track a bit smaller. And let's duplicate it. Duplicate tracks. And let's double click just this track. And now we can replace just these items with the Media Explorer. Let's try this sound as it sounds more live. Right click, insert, and select the media items and replace media source. Let's zoom in and make sure the phase of this sample matches this one. We can drag it around so the up of this sample matches the up of this sample and the down the same way. If they didn't match, we could right click. Go to item settings and invert the polarity or phase, which flips the second sample the opposite way. But as we can see, this is going up while this is going down. We don't want that. So let's undo it. And now let's blend these two together. That sounds pretty good for now. Now let's try the same thing with the snare. Let's duplicate the snare. Again, we'll mute this one, make this one bigger, select it, open dynamic split, choose the transient sensitivity, and make sure we have all the hits chosen by adjusting the threshold. You get lower, so it grabs all the hits like this, then we can split it, delete this piece, right click, go to item settings, turn off looping, and let's replace these items with a snare sample. Let's go to my snares. Let's try this one. Right click, insert into selected media items, and replace the media source. And let's hear this one in the track. This one sounds a bit fake. So let's try this one instead. Right click, replace media source. And let's hear this one. Stupid laughter. Let's try blending it with the original. Just like before, let's add another sample. Let's duplicate this track. And let's try this sound to be more aggressive. Right click, insert, replace media source. And let's hear this blended in. I think that sounds more aggressive. Let's hear it before. Stupid laughter. And after. Stupid laughter. I feel like a number one. Under the fading sun.
So that's pretty much it. That's how to replace drum sounds in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!